We're ready to go. All right, welcome everybody to Gaelic Park for the uh, 2020 U10 Championship Final between St. Barnabas and West Putsitanta. And this is the 50th anniversary of the New York Minor Board, founded all the way back in 1970. This has been a really tough year, but... You know, I think one of the big achievements that we've had this year so far is actually getting to this stage of the championship. And great credit to all teams, all officers involved. And we're looking forward to a fantastic game of football between these two teams that have been tremendously well matched over the last season or so. I know they've played against each other many times. There's never been a lot between it. But we're looking forward to a fantastic game of football. Today's referee is... Danny McKenna from the um, Saint, uh, the New York Celtics club. So just quickly before we get started, I'll go through the team sheet. In goals for hold on, in goals for Sedanta, Eileen Bergeson. Uh, cornerbacks, Meadow Donald, Gianna Puckhammer, <coughs> Ella B. Coney. Half back line, Dean Simpson, Dean Sampson, Finya Deagle centre back, Kaylee Dolan on the wing, Devin O'Sullivan and Evan Paris Devan midfield. Pete Hughes, Connor Healy and Danny Horowitz in the half forward line, Maeve Galler, Connor McBurdy, Gavin Dolan in the full forwards. And on the line we have Sophie McLaughlin, Ronan Orff, Kyle O'Mara and Seamus Conroy. And here we go, we're getting the ball started and it's won straight away by Satanta midfielder. It's gone into the half forward line, that's Maeve Galler on the ball there now. She takes one solo, intercepted by the St Barnabas Club. They cleared away and that's cleared away by Liam McNally, the wing back for the St Barnabas Club. And it is a wing, uh, sorry, a sideline ball for Satanta. And that is going to be taken by Dean, Dean Sampson. And he kicks it in there now. It's one in the half forward line. And that is by, played back in there. And that is over the bar and a point for West Putz Satanta. Okay, so that's a point to no score. West Putz Satanta. Just a minute gone off the clock. That's Grace Gleason in goal to take the kick out for St. Barnabas. And it's broken down there. The ball won back by St. Barnabas. That is... Let me get at Sean O'Donnell on the ball now. He leaves it off. It's only one hop, one solo or two solos in the U10 division. So that is Connor O'Donnell. Oh, sorry, Sean O'Donnell on the ball. He loses it, dispossessed there by Devin O'Sullivan. Player goes to ground. No freeze is the referee. Connor Brogan on the ball, but it's one back. Danny McKenna stops the ball. I believe it's an injury down for the Westput Satanta team. The ball, uh, game is temporarily stopped. The referee's going to check on the player while we're waiting. I'm just going to call out the Barnabas team. In goals, Grace Gleason. Number two, Shea McMahon. Number three, Orla Murray. Number four, Grace Dwyer. Number five, Liam McNally. Number six, Jack Mitchell. Number seven, John Carlson. Number nine, Sean O'Donnell. Number eight, Connor Brogan. Number 10, Emmett Smith. 11, Dara Lynch. 12, Ryan McPhailam. Brendan McCormick, number 13. Jody O'Donnell, 14. 15, Colin, 15. Ryan Carlson and James Turley on the line. And that's managed by Jim McCormick and Niall McMahon from St. Barnabas. And West put restart the game. And here we go. And that's a foul. Foul on the number nine for Satanta. That is Connor Healy. Ball back in. Satanta get on the ball. That's one of the young Hughes there. He gets on the ball, takes a hop, takes a shot just short. Grace Gleason. Uh, looked like a pick off the ground but referees his play on St Barnabas win the ball played out to the half back line St Barnabas clear their lines broken by a Saint, uh, Satanta player that's Finya Deagle gets the ball back gives it off to her player back into the Satanta midfield high ball into that full forward line St Barnabas bend down on the ball Liam McNally clears it away and that is one there by the St Barnabas half forward that is Emmett Smith Emmett Smith takes the possession kicks it in forward a high ball in but it's well taken care of by the Satanta full back there ball back into midfield that's Connor Brogan gives it off to Sean O'Donnell Sean O'Donnell fights for it on the ground picks the ball up looks to be fouled that's a free in for St Barnabas so St Barnabas uh, scores is a point for Westwood Satanta no score so far for the St. Barnabas Club. They'll be looking to add to their silverware hall this year after winning the, the New York Senior Championship final in a great series of games against Sligo. Ball goes in. West puts the tactic, clear the ball. It's gone back into midfield. A high dropping ball. Liam McNally wins that ball in, plays it back in. And who's that on the ball? That is Darrell Lynch. Plays it into Jody O'Donnell. 
Oh, kicked in. Emmett Smith gets on the ball. He's in at a goal chance. Wide ball. Umpire signals a wide ball there. Dangerous ball into the West Putsitanta uh, defence. They do well to stop it. And they'll have the kick out now to clear the ball away. So that this is Gianna. Long kick out there. St. Barnabas win it. And that is Kelly Dolan gets on the ball. Kicked in there. Referee playing advantage. Any advantage coming? Hand is still up, hand is down. Advantage is over and Satan to bring the ball in towards the square. They're very close here, but well defended by St. Barnabas. Liam McNally again gets on the ball, kicks it out and fouled in the process. That's going to be a free out to St. Barnabas. Liam McNally takes the free kick. Intercepted by Finya Deagle, ball breaks down now, back into the Satanta possession, around the middle of the field, Devon O'Sullivan on the ball, hand pass there, Daniel Horowitz gets on the ball, back to Finya Deagle, she looks up, takes a hop, kicks a long dangerous ball into the Satanta, looked a suspicion of a ball, uh, pushing the back, but it comes off a Satanta player and goes wide. Grace Gleeson now to kick the ball out. And Grace takes a big kick out, out to midfield. It's that man, Liam McNally again, clears the ball out into the, into the St. Barnabas. But Finya Deagle again to clear the ball up. She takes a hop, looks up, dispossessed by Barnabas. Good shoulder. And, oh, that looks to be a foul. Yep. West puts it time to win the free. Adds Dean Sampson on the ball. Looks up for his options inside. Very tightly marked. He plays a high ball in towards Daniel Horowitz, but it breaks down again. That's one of the Hughes there on the ball. He takes a hop. He takes a shot in, but Grace Gleason's going to get on the end of this. She takes the tackle, clears her lines out to the midfield, and that is Dean Sampson. Takes a shot in towards goal, well saved by Grace Gleason. She clears the ball out again. Brilliant series of stops by the St. Barnabas goalie. That is Connor Healy on the ball and kicked in. Up. Oh. Pick off the ground by one of St. Barnabas players, according to Danny McKenna, and that's going to be a 13 yard free in for Satanta. Who's going to take it? I think that is Peter Hughes. Oh, off the crossbar! Oh, battle on the ground. Connor Healy takes a shot, and it is wide. So that's one point to no score. Off the crossbar, just goes wide. I think Danny McKenna is going to go in to have a word with his umpire. Umpire is Dennis Toomey, man for the New York Rangers club, former chairman of the minor board. Speaks to his, speaks to Danny McKenna, also a former chairman of the minor board. And we are going to restart the game here now with Grace Gleason. Grace looks up, plays a high ball towards the midfield in the direction of Liam McNally, but the ball breaks down now. And that is Dean Sampson gets on the ball. He looks up, high ball in, back in towards the middle of the field. Broken down here now. Who's going to come away with it? Uh, picked off the ground by one of his attentive players and Barnabas Liam McNally is going to get on the ball he plays it in to St Barnabas half forward line that is going to be Satanta who come away with the ball uh, Meadow uh, Donnell gets the ball plays it down the field battle between Orla and Grace Dwyer there Grace Dwyer challenges um, Peter Hughes Peter Hughes clears the ball in towards the middle, but it's intercepted there now by the St. Barnabas Club. And Jack Mitchell on the ball there now, plays it towards, oh, intercepted, that's Gianna. Takes a hop, takes a solo, plays the ball in, but it's intercepted, that's Shea McMahon on the ball. Big clearance down the field, now in the direction of the St. Barnabas half, uh, full forward line. Emmett Smith wins that ball there now, he's tackled by two Satanta players, Finja Deagle goes in there now. And she is, yep, she loses possession. Ball back in towards St. Barnabas. They've got a big chance here now if they can work it in. And it's a goal chance for St. Barnabas. But great defending there by the Satanta Club. And that is well played now. But Satan Barnabas has the ball back in again. That's Ryan McPhail on the ball. Gianna tries to pick the ball up. And the ball is gone for a 
sideline ball I believe or a free in I'm not too sure what, what's happened here now but it looks like St Barnabas are going to remain in possession that's Ray McPhelan on the ball here now Ryan McPhelan on the ball here now, 13 yards out, but over by the sideline. Short ball in, Finja Deagle does well there, intercepts, hustles hard for the ball and clears it off a St Barnabas player. And it's a sideline ball for Satanta. Done a great job there, Finja Deagle, uh, younger sister of Joanna Deagle, just won a junior championship there at the weekend with the New York Fela team. Finja's another player with a bright prospect ahead. And this is going to be... Gianna, oh, well done St Barnabas, they read the pass from the sideline ball, that is another ball for Satanta, that's Dara Lynch won the ball, dispossessed then by Gianna, and ball then towards, oh yeah, well done, Kelly Dolan gets on the ball, Hustle hard, but it's that man, Liam McNally again. Liam McNally wins a free, plays a ball into uh, Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith wins a ball over his head. He takes a hop. He takes a solo. He looks up. Oh, that looked to be a third touch, but nevertheless, the ball goes wide. And it's a wide ball. Score remains one point for St. Tanta. No score for St. Barnabas. And this great kick out towards the middle of the field. Jack Mitchell gets on the ball there now. Ryan McPhelan wins it. And plays it back towards, oh, no, that's a St. Barnabas ball. Uh, John Carlson there, the St. Barnabas player that it came off. Connor Healy's looking for the ball. And uh, Dean Sampson. Liam McNally on the ball again, clears it back towards the middle of the field. Finja Deagle goes up to contest now, but it's that man again. And that is Sean, uh, Connor Brogan. Emmett Smith wins it, takes a hop, takes a solo, but loses possession. Satanta full back line. Whoa, that looked a bit of a push. Yep, Danny McKenna calls a free. And Satanta are going to have a chance now to clear their lines. So that's Mead O'Donnell. She started off very, very well, won a lot of frees. No score yet for the St. Barnabas forwards, but they've had their chances. And that ball is played in. Wow, that's a great catch by Jack Mitchell there. He wins the ball, takes a hop. I think he's been fouled, but referee is letting the ball game play on. Kelly Dolan. Yep, Kelly Dolan bends down but loses possession. That is Mead O'Donnell. Again, clears her lines. Oh, but only into the hands of a St. Barnabas player. He looks up and that is Sean O'Donnell. Oh, sorry, uh, Dara Lynch. Oh, Hustle there. Well done by the St. Tante goalkeeper. Catches the ball, plays it out. There's Meadow on the ball again. She looks up, clears her lines all the way down to Connor Healy. He's going to look up for his options here. And he's been fouled in the chance when he got to clear, clear the lines. So that's going to be a St. Tante free around the middle of the field. Connor Healy's going to get on the ball again. And that's about there. Is Connor Healy on the ball there now? Whoa. Shea McMahon uh, struggles for it now, but Jack Mitchell is in possession. He breaks the tackle now, and that is back to John Carlson. John Carlson gives it off to Conor Brogan. Conor Brogan looks up, sees Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch carries the ball in the direction of the goals. He's 13 yards out, takes a shot, and it is a wide ball. Very, very close now. That is, I believe, four frees, uh, four wides for St. Barnabas. They'll need to take their chances now if they're going to beat the Satanta team. Hot ball in, ball goes down between two players. That is... And uh, Liam McNally gets the ball, clears, clears it back in again. That's in the direction of, oh, well done. That's Devin Sullivan, wins a free. Foul there by Finton Cullen from St. Barnabas. That's Dean Sampson now on the ball. Uh, no, not Dean Sampson. That is... Oh, 
Devin Par sorry, De Devin Power Seven on the on the ball there now. So tend to win bend the ball bend their back, get on the ball. Ronan Orf there, and that's Kaylee Dolan looks up. Back to Devin. Oh, sorry, Evan. Evan Paris Devan. Grace Gleason gets on the ball here now, does well, picks the ball under pressure down from Satanta, back towards the middle of the field. We have Evan on Evan on the ball and a foul there for Satanta. Fouled by a St. Barnabas player. Fifteen minutes gone into this game now. Satanta still lead by one point. High ball in, Grace Dwyer goes up for it, but Grace Gleason gets on the end of it. Oh, Orla Murray there on the ball, clears her lines, well done to Orla. That's in the direction of Emmett Smith, Emmett can't do enough to keep the ball in, it's going to be a Satanta ball, well done there by Orla Murray. Clears her lines well, but it's coming back in on top of the St Barnabas team, and it breaks down in the direction of Maeve Galler, and Maeve picks the ball up off the ground. That's Liam McNally now to take the kick. Liam looks up, looks at his options, very tightly marked by Satanta, plays a high ball in, it's going over towards Emmett Smith, Emmett keeps the ball, no, not enough to keep the ball in, it's going to be a Satanta ball from the sideline. That's a very tight market now by Satanta, they haven't let any easy ball come into the St Barnabas forward line. Very t nip and tuck game here, not much between the two teams. And off Liam McNally's hands back towards Orla Murray, but Orla Murray powers through the tackles of Satanta forwards, clears it out towards Liam McNally, and he plays the ball in towards a halfway line that's in the direction of Barnabas' full forward line. And Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball, he's the danger man here for, Sat for Barnabas. Back towards Brendan McCormick. Finya Deagle with a hard challenge, but a fair one. Knocks the ball out of the hands there. That's back to Maeve. Maeve Donnell, or sorry, Meadow Donnell. Dean Sampson getting tackled there now, but that's back towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean clears it back in towards the middle of the goals, coming in towards Jody O'Donnell, but a wide ball there. And Eileen Bergeson will get a chance now to kick the ball out. Or, yep, there's Kaylee Dolan on the ball. Looks up, Ronan Orr is free. Oh, well intercepted by Jack Mitchell there. Jack wins the ball there now under severe pressure from Finya Deagle but get back to Ryan McPhail and Ryan hand passes it in and that's towards Dara Lynch Dara Lynch looks up takes a hop takes a kick in but another wide for St Barnabas that's a sixth wide today and you wonder are they going to really regret those chances they need to take their scores here now if they're going to win this game Satanta doing well so far no easy shots but they're going to have to work that bit harder to beat St Barnabas Ryan McPhail and wins the ball he looks up Dara Lynch is free hand passes it over towards Finton Cullen Finton Cullen Tackle well by Finya Deagle. Finya Deagle bends down, hustles hard. Look at that. Power through two tackles, leaves the ball off. Well done to her. And a foul by Satanta. A foul on Satanta. Foul by Connor Brogan. And that is Connor Healy on the ball, I believe. No, that is um, Evan. Evan Devan Paris on the ball there now back towards Devon O'Sullivan. Devon takes the ball, but he's well tackled by Sean O'Donnell. Sean looks up, hop back towards Connor Brogan. <clears throat> Sean O'Donnell is open again, but it's back towards uh, Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch spins out of the tackle, leaves the ball over towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith takes a hop. He's under severe pressure. He gets a shot away, and it's a point. A great score by Emmett Smith, and Barnabas are back on level terms. That's a big, big score for St. Barnabas. A real momentum changer there now. Satanta going to have to work very hard. They're under pressure again. Dara Lynch wins the ball. He's tackled by two Satanta players, but he gets the ball away. Over to Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell looks up, gives the ball into Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell fouled. Uh, Devin O'Sullivan, the player to be spoken to here by Danny, Danny McKenna. Bit of frustration maybe on the part of the Satanta team. Satanta, yep. The momentum was with St. Barnabas. They still only tie this game one point each. And that is going to be Liam McNally is going to get on this ball here now. Liam looks up in towards Dara Lynch, but it's well broken down now in towards Devon O'Sullivan. Oh, Jody O'Donnell gets on the ball. And that is Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick picks the ball up, breaks the tackle, looks up, takes a hop, and he's fouled. That's a well-worked free there for St. Barnabas. Player's going to need a bit of attention. 
all the momentum at the minute with St Barnabas the Tent are really going to need a score here now to swing the momentum back in their favour they've had the chances but they need to take them they need to take them it's great sportsmanship here for, by all teams when a player gets injured all the players will kneel down to prevent any advantage for either team so it's a great exhibition of sportsmanship and shows the real good rivalry real healthy rivalry between the St Barnabas and the Satanta club down through the years they've had some really really tough battles but everybody knows that when a player gets injured that we're all on the same team so it's great and fantastic to see that from both teams St Barnabas are going to have a free in here now I believe it's Daryl Lynch is getting on the ball with the left foot and that's oh it's off the crossbar Fenya Deagle wins the ball she looks up and a big clearing ball but it's intercepted by Sean O'Donnell he spins out of one tackle he breaks another tackle Ham passes it off but oh throw ball and Satanta are going to have a chance to clear their lines T big relief there but towards Jack Mitchell and now here we go again Daniel Horowitz gets the full treatment there from the St Barnabas team he wins the ball looks up hops solo but Grace, Grace Dwyer does brilliantly there to intercept the ball but a bit of a push in the back there and Satanta are going to have a free around the midfield area one point each with six minutes to go in the first half cleared away oh Connor Healy gets on the ball here now and that is Daniel Horowitz but Grace Dwyer again is competing for the ball Daniel Horowitz managed to clear up the break there he gets on it looks up spins out of one tackle hand passes it back but he's over carried the ball and that's a big big relief for the St Barnabas club Liam McNally gets on the ball here now looks up ball in towards but that, whoa it bounces in but there's Meadow Meadow gets on the ball one hop looks up spins out of a tackle over to Finja Deagle Finja Deagle looks up big hand pass but Ryan McPhillum's going to be on to the end of this ball Ryan looks up back in towards Sean O'Donnell Sean O'Donnell breaks one tackle breaks two tackles takes the shoulder leaves it off towards Jared Lynch Jody O'Donnell is free here now Jody gets on the ball looks up harsh tackle here by Meadow Jody leaves the ball off by to Brendan McCormack and it's a point oh wide ball seventh wide of the game for St Barnabas and Satanta are living on their fingertips here now. Big clear ball now. Jack Mitchell goes up high, competes for the ball. There's Connor Healy. Oh, there's Brendan McCormick. Looks up. Tackled by two players, dispossessed there. That's Connor Healy. Looks up. Spins out of a tackle, gives it off to Cayley. Cayley wins the ball, but it's back, broken down again. A foot race now between. Ke Sean, oh, Dara Lynch and Kayleigh, uh, Dara Lynch wins that ball, takes two tackles and gives it back to Sean O'Donnell, Sean looks up, ball, oh, but it's intercepted, well intercepted by Devon O'Sullivan, uh, advantage is played here now, and we're going to go back for the free, Devon O'Sullivan wins the intercept ball, Ryan McPhail on the guilty party, and that is um, Evan Paris Devan getting on it, no, we are going to go back to... Um, Gianna, oh Liam McNally looks for the ball but clears it back down there's Emmett Smith Emmett Smith gets tackled high gives the ball over to Sean O'Donnell Sean O'Donnell takes one tackler on gives it back to Emmett Smith Emmett looks up what's inside nothing so far takes a shot himself but it's a wide ball that's wide number eight for St Barnabas one point each with four minutes to go in this half look up and Daniel Horowitz is on this ball here. Grace Dwyer giving him, giving him all he wants. Tackle there now. Oh, free against. I think the free is for overcarrying. Yep, free for St. Barnabas overcarrying by Daniel Horowitz. Liam McNally is going to look up, look for the options inside. He's looking. Jody O'Donnell is free, and he gives the ball over to Sean O'Donnell, but it's going to break down for Meadow. No. Nope. It is Dean Sampson. Dean Sampson gets on the ball now. Over to Connor Healy. Connor Healy bends down, plays the ball along the ground. That is Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes. Yep, Peter Hughes wins his free down here. St. Barnabas not too happy about that, but it doesn't matter. That's uh, Evan Devan Paris there now. Gets on the ball towards Finya. Finya. Oh, dispossessed there now, but she's going to hustle hard for it again. And that's towards Gavin. Whoa, that's a free out against Finya. And Orla Murray's going to take this ball. Orla Murray around her own, uh, but by the sideline on the left hand side of this field, in towards Dara Lynch. Dara's got an acre of space here now. He's going to give it over to Brendan McCormick, but Kayleigh Dolan intercepts it there now. Looks up, takes a hop, clears the lines. 
Down all the way towards Daniel Horowitz. Daniel wins the ball, but it breaks down. That's Connor Healy. And Connor Healy picks it off the ground. He'll be frustrated with that now. And that is going to be, yep, going to be a free for St. Barnabas. Lee McNally's going to get on this ball. He's looking inside. It's in towards Dara Lynch. Dara's uh, tackle. Dara takes one tackle, but the free is against him. Free. He is um, pushed off away from the player. And cleared away by Satanta. Ball broken down. There's Connor Healy. Connor Healy plays it, but it's intercepted by Ray McPhailum. Ray McPhailum looks up, gives it to Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell looks up, but he gives it back towards John Carlson. John Carlson looks up. Oh, blocked down. Well blocked down. John clears it again, but it's a 50 50 ball. Emmett Smith gets on it. Now it's Sean O'Donnell. Sean looks up. Jody's free. Jody's free. It's one on one with the goalie. What's going to happen? Oh, it's cleared off the line by Kayleigh Dolan. What a play by Kayleigh. We're come off the goalie. Great save by the goalkeeper. Kayleigh Dolan clears the lines. It's going to be a 45 to St. Barnabas, and there's two minutes left on the clock. That's a great play by St. Barnabas, uh, St. Barnabas and Satanta. Great attack and play there now. Well done to Sean O'Donnell, uh, Jody O'Donnell, brother and sister, I believe. And yeah, they'll be arguing over that one later. Back towards Sean O'Donnell. He takes it up, plays the ball, and it goes wide again. Whoa, oof, you're going to have to really think about this at halftime. What St. Barnabas, they need to get the shooting boots on if they're going to win this game. Back towards the middle of the field. Emmett Smith goes up, but the ball breaks down towards Daniel Horowitz. Daniel turns, gives it back towards Dean Sampson. Dean gets on the ball. Tackled by Sean O'Donnell. Sean, big high ball towards Connor Healy. He's not the biggest man in town, but he fights hard for it. One, Connor, yep, Connor breaks the tackle, but he's tackled well by St. Barnabas. Jack, Liam McNally on the ball, clears it down. Oh, it's going to be a free here. Liam McNally fouled on the ground. His clock has stopped. And again, we're going to go down here. We're going to take a knee. Liam McNally foul. He's played, been one of St. Barnabas's best player. Created a lot of, created a lot of the best parts of the, of, of the play of this half. Um, Satanta, great performances in the back line. Need more out of the forwards if they're going to win this game. 50-50 around the middle. Not much between the two teams, but I think the tenacity of the Satanta backs has been the big, big difference. The St. Barnabas, they get the shooting boots on. This could be a one-sided game, but so far Satanta are hanging in by, uh, hanging, hanging on by their fingertips. Liam McNally shows no sign of injury. Takes the ball in towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean looks up. Big kick. High ball in. And it goes over the bar. Barnabas come into the game. They are two points to one up. Sean O'Donnell, midfielder. All right, Gianna's going to take the kick out here now. She looks up, needs a big clearance. Huge ball, 30 seconds on the clock left. Who's going to win it? Kaylee Dolan's going to get on the ball. They need a score right now. There's 26 seconds left on the clock towards her brother Gavin Dolan, but it breaks down. Orla Murray's going to get on this ball. I think St. Barnabas is going to be quite content to let the clock run out. Grace Gleason's on the ball here. Played fantastic so far. Seven seconds. Okay, there's six seconds on the clock. Here we go. Have they got enough time? Liam McNally gets on the ball. He looks up. Two seconds. We're going to run out of time here now. Dara Lynch gets on it, but there's only a point in it at halftime. Two points to one. Great performances by both teams. Sean O'Donnell, Liam McNally, and Emmett Smith playing out of their skins for St. Barnabas. From the Satanta point of view, Finja Deagle, um, Kayleigh Donal, Dolan, Matt O'Donnell, and... Um, You'd have to say Connor Hilly around the middle of the field. They've been the star players, but they're going to need a bigger performance for halftime. Okay, welcome back to Gaelic Park, where we are going to restart this U10 Championship semi final here between Satanta and St. Barnabas. Only one point separates these teams. Down through the years, they've had many a tough battle, and it's always come down to the wire. Today looks to be no different. So far, St. Barnabas has probably been the stronger team, but they need to get their shooting boots on if they're going to win this game. Satanta tenacious around the middle need to get the ball into their danger players inside they got a lot of talent I think they've made some changes here now I see Sophie McLaughlin come on at half time Kayleigh Dolan gone into the full forward line and I think that is Peter Hughes gone into the corner we still have um, Evan Paris Devan midfield along with Devon O'Sullivan and it's that man, Sean O'Donnell, with Connor Brogan in midfield as well. Danny McKenna just waiting for regulation size football to get the game started. And we are 
25 minutes away from finding out who the U, uh, the U10 who the U10 under 10 2020 championship for the New York minor board is going to be all right Danny Brown chairman of the minor board great ball in towards the midfield line not just an excellent chairman good man to play the ball out to the middle of the field so here we go Danny McKenna to restart the game Devon and Sean O'Donnell face off against each other and we are going to restart here and the clock goes we're back in the ball is up and Sean O'Donnell wins it again Denovan O'Sullivan tightly marks him Sean O'Donnell plays it in towards Orla Murray uh, but she's beaten to the ball by Gianna Sean O'Donnell wins that ball again tackled by Connor Healy Jack Mitchell plays the ball in towards Dara Lynch, but Finya Deagle says no way today. But she the ball drops down. Finya gets on it, but Sean O'Donnell wins it back. He looks up, takes a shot. It's going to drop short now. That's towards Meadow. Meadow wins the ball, breaks it down. Played down towards uh, Eileen Bergeson. Eileen clears it away, but it's blocked down. And it's going to roll out for a sideline ball. And that is going to be Emmett Smith. Emmett looks up, plays it towards Dara Lynch. Dara again gets on the ball, back towards Emmett. Emmett wins the ball, takes a hop, takes a shot. And that ball is going to just go away. That's wide number 10 for St. Barnabas. Gianna kicks the ball out. Connor Healy on the ball, but Connor Brogan is going to win it ahead of him. Connor Healy and Connor Brogan competing with each other. Broken down here now. That is. Ooh, Brendan McCormick Brendan McCormick picks the ball up at the second time of asking takes a hop tackled hard though by Dean Sampson but here we go again that is Connor Brogan Connor Brogan breaks the tackle looks up takes a hop blocked down there by Peter Hughes Peter Hughes breaks the tackle he looks up clears the ball towards in towards Connor Healy Connor Healy now on the ball takes one step Controls the ball, picks the ball up. He's Oh, he's picked it off the ground there. Now there's John Carlson in towards Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch, get, right there is Finja Deagle, but Dara Lynch is going to win the foot rate. No, yep, it's, oh, the ball's going over and back. Here we go, Dara Lynch shoots. Finja Deagle blocks it down. Great block down towards Kayleigh, and Regiana clears the ball away. Now there it is, Jack Mitchell on the ball, bends down. That's it, wins the ball, plays a smart ball towards the middle, but it's intercepted there now by Evan. Evan looks up, clears the ball in towards the full forward line. There's Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes is going to look up there now. There's Kayleigh Dolan, if you can see her. But it's in towards Grace Gleason. Grace, great ball there, under pressure. But it's back in towards Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes' shot is blocked down. There's Gavin. Gavin shot is caught by Great. What a catch and a clearance there by Grace Gleason. Liam McNally's going to get on this ball, but he's going to get a lot of attention from Evan. Where the ball lands is going to be the call from the referee. That's a late tackle call. Darrell Lynch plays it in towards Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith wins the ball, but Daniel Horowitz is right there with him. He looks up, takes his solo, but he loses possession. And there's Meadow. Meadow wins the ball, takes a hop, looks up there. There's Evan. Evan gets on the ball there now. He's tackled by Sean O'Donnell. Sean foils him. There's Evan. Who's going to give the ball to? Gives it over to Kayleigh Dolan. Kayleigh Dolan with the sunglasses looks up but can't see any Satanta players. There's Devin O'Sullivan on the ball. Devin clears it in, in towards Gavin Dolan. Kayleigh's going to be down there. Kayleigh and Gavin, brother and sister, in the full forward line. Let's hope that they can get some chances into them. Satanta are going to really need those, the, uh, those kids to pull it together if they're going to compete and win this game. And there is Evan. Evan the Vampire. Paris clears it in but it's broken down Petey Hughes gets on the ball Lee McNally in tight oh, wide ball I believe that's Satanta's second wide of the day there's Grace Gleason now doesn't need anyone to take her kick for she's going to put this ball about 50 yards down the middle of the field there she goes ball is down towards Sean O'Donnell Sean O'Donnell wins that ball takes a hop looks up comes back towards the middle again but clears a big high ball I'm not sure that's what he intended but Emmett Smith wins that ball over Daniel Horowitz's head and wins his free great job Emmett and Liam McNally's going to take this ball. He's around the middle of the field. He looks up. It's it going to go in towards Orla Murray. Orla's going to be in a tight battle here. But Finja Deagle intercepts the ball. Clears it down towards Connor Healy. Connor Healy got very closely marked by Jack Mitchell. Connor Healy wins the ball. He might be the smallest man on the field, but he's got the biggest heart out there today. There's Daniel Horowitz. Oh, Daniel. He's going to regret that one. You only got four seconds to take the ball. But St. Barnabas 
wastefully used the ball and uh, Dean Sampson gets on it there we go there's Evan Evan's going to look up he sees Sophie McLaughlin inside she's all on her own if he can get the ball into her it's a high ball into Sophie that's not what she wants but she's going to fight for it anyways Kaylee Dolan gets on it there there's Pity Hughes Pity Hughes looks up takes the hop takes a solo he's got to play it now but he's tackled hard by Grace Dwyer that's a big challenge from Grace and she turns the ball over towards Liam McNally Liam wins it and it's Dean Sampson Dean gets on the ball clears it back towards Sophie Sophie McLaughlin there we go she wins the ball takes a hop looks up hand passes it towards Kaylee. Kaylee's on the ball again but she's intercepted by Sean O'Donnell but Kaylee wins it back looks up takes a hop she's not fouled Grace Dwyer wins it but Kaylee takes it back over and she's fouled that's some tough play there for a group of U10s. But it's a great contest there on both sides. Satanta have won the ball. They've won the free there now. They're about 25 yards out. Is this within Petey Hughes's range? Petey's looking up. I'm thinking he's going to go for a short ball. He puts a big high ball in. He's gone for it. No, that's a great score for Peter Hughes. Well done. And the score is two points each. Petey Hughes... No challenge to that way, man, but he wins it. Now he might have a chance in. He's carrying it in towards the goal. It's... Go oh, just wide. St. Barnabas is going to need to take, take full advantage of their chances. Or Sedanta will have to take full advantage if they get a shot like that in again. 15 yards out. They need to be putting those over the bar. Two points each with 20 minutes to go. Grace Gleeson on the ball. Clears it towards the middle of the field. Towards Connor Brogan, but the ball breaks down to Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell takes a hop. Takes a kick in towards Orla Murray. Orla Murray's going to win this ball ahead of Gianna. Oh, well tackled by Meadow. And oh, Orla Murray picks the ball up off the ground. And Gianna clears the ball. There we go. In towards P.D. Hughes. P.D. Hughes intercepted by Liam McNally. Now Emmett Smith's got the ball. He gives it over to Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell back to Emmett Smith. Emmett Smith. Ball hits the deck, but he wins it back. Takes a hop. Takes a shot. In towards the goalie. Eileen wins it, but clears it down the field. But it's going to be a foot race. That's between Connor Healy and Dara Lynch. Connor, Dara Lynch is going to win this ball. Nope, not fouled. Connor Healy is going to win that ball. Well done done to him takes the ball looks up clears it but he's blocked down by Dara what a great block and a great shoulder with it as well looks up and Dara, Dara Lynch still on the ball he's intercepted and it's that woman again Finya Diga looks up and clears the ball 15 yards but it goes over the side every ball here is 50-50 nip and tuck goes one way goes the other there is nothing between these teams today so it's going to be a St. Barnabas ball from the sideline. Liam McNally's going to get on this ball here now. He's going to look at his options inside. He's got Orla Murray, plenty of space, Sean O'Donnell and Emmett Smith. It goes in the direction of Sean O'Donnell, but it's broken down there. And that is gone wide. So Eileen Bergeson's going to get on this ball. Ella B oh, no, it's 45. Sorry, my mistake. And it is going to be a 45 meter kick for St. Barnabas. Liam McNally is going to take it and he passes it in towards Sean O'Donnell. But Finna Deagle, she's going down for this ball, intercepts it, but it breaks kindly for Satanta. And Finna's got it back. She breaks one tackle, looks up, gives the ball. Oh, she's hand, hand passes it, but it's broken down. Satanta have got a big chance here now. They've got the overlap to the side. If Pity Hughes can look up and see a player. That's John Carlson, well tackled. And Jack Mitchell, close to 10. There's Kelly Dolan. She's bearing down on goal. And it, oh, just goes wide. It's going to take a good shot to get past Grace Gleason. And that ball just went to the left-hand side of the post. Grace Gleason's going to take this kick out here now. Looks up, looks for her options. And the ball goes for Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell wins the break. Oh, no. Oh, Kaylee Dolan just picked it off the ground there now. Difficult one to get the, the ball in. No, sorry. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think there was a miscommunication there now and St. Barnabas is going to get this ball. Liam McNally again. What a game this little man's had. And he goes towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell carving the field open, gives it over towards Emmett Smith. Ball hits the deck and Emmett's going to win it now in a foot race with Daniel Horowitz. No, oh, it's broken down again. It's going to be Gianna and... Here we go, Brendan McCormick on the ball. He's 13 yards out towards Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch shoots it, just goes wide. Yep, wide ball. And that is going to be Ella... Sorry, Gianna, sorry, taking the kick out. Nope, it's a 45. My mistake. I think everybody was slightly confused by that one. But here we go. St. Barnabas, Liam McNally is going to get the ball again. 
He's probably, if, if you were to look at a heat map of the field, he would be in the most, but he's giving the ball away here now. And Darrell Lynch is going to win a free, just a push in the back there. Um, on Satanta, Darrell Lynch wins the ball here. He's about 25 yards out. This would be a big score if he can get it. He looks up and he shoots. It's going to go to the right and wide. Very, very good attempt there now. Um, Oh, bit of a push there from Jack on Connor Healy. Connor Healy's going to win this free. Looks back towards Evan. Evan looks up here now. Peter Hughes is free, and so is Kaylee. It's going towards Dean Sampson. But Peter Hughes wins this in a foot race with Liam McNally. Great battle between these two players, and Kaylee Dolan's going to win it. Jody O'Donnell's gone close to her, but Connor Healy's going to win this ball. Connor Healy looks up. He's got a shot in towards, but Jody O'Donnell's intercepted that. She's cleared the field down towards it between Finya. Uh, Finya's going to win this ball. She looks up. There's Connor Healy. Connor Healy's going to bring it. Oh, sorry, it's Evan. Evan, in oh, that's a great intercept, but a great block down by Kaylee. And Evan Devan Paris is going to win this ball here now. Or is it going to go out? No. Nope. He keeps the, does well to keep the ball in possession. He's tackled hard and it's going to be a St. Barnabas sideline ball. 15 minutes to go. Two points each. Nothing between these two teams. Satanta win the sideline, I think. No. Danny can't decide between the two teams. He's going to give a hot ball. So it's going to be between Sean O'Donnell and Finya Deagle. Yep. Not sure many players have fancied their chances between these two guys, but Sean O'Donnell is going to win this ball. He looks up there now, and it is going towards Anna, uh, Emmett Smith. Emmett looks up. Get, gets past Daniel Horowitz. He's going to have to win the ball back, though. He's well tackled by Daniel. Takes the ball, takes a hop. Well tackled by Daniel. Daniel keeping him out, but it's going to be intercepted, and that is a great intercept by Dean Sampson. He wins the ball. Petey Hughes gets on it there now. Takes a hop, takes a solo. He's got to play it. He plays it down in the direction of the St. Barnabas half back line, but Kaylee Dolan's going to get near to this. Well tackled by Kaylee. No foul. Connor Brogan picks the ball up, looks up. Good tackle by Kaylee again. There's Evan. Evan gets on the ball. He puts it in towards the full forward line, but it's going to be intercepted here now by St. Barnabas. That's John Carlson. Gets the ball to Jack Mitchell. Jack looks up, clears the ball down towards Brendan McCormick. Brendan McCormick gets past the first tackle, but he's going to have to do it again. Gianna's going to tackle him very hard there. Okay, right. That's an advantage play. So it's going to be advantage. St. Barnabas, the free is going to be back towards the middle of the field. 13 minutes, the clock is going to tick, tick, tick down. Are we going to have extra time? Don't think there's any penalties here today, but I'll have to clarify that with Danny Brown. So we're going to have to play the ball in towards Emmett Smith. Emmett wins the ball. Well won out in front. Kicks the ball. Big high ball, but it's just gone to the right and wide. And here we go. This is Gianna. Gianna looks up. Clears the ball then towards P.D. Hughes, but Liam McNally is going to be on the end of this one. Oh, well tackled by Peter Hughes. Peter Hughes looks up, takes a hop, takes a solo, but he's tackled well. Jack Mitchell's going to win this ball. He gets out in front. He looks up. There is Connor Brogan. Connor Brogan wins the ball, wins the first. Oh, well done by Dean Sampson. He puts a boot to it, wins the ball, picks it up. And Liam McNally. Oh, that's a push in the back corner to Danny McKenna. That's going to be Evan. Sorry, Evan. Evan. Uh, confuse Evan and Dean a little bit. My apologies to both players, but there's Evan. Dean Sampson just ahead of him. Yep, Danny McKenna just clarifying that it's a push in the back, it's a free, and it's Evan Devan Paris. He looks up and it's in towards Finya Deagle. Finya charges towards the goal line, but she's going to be tackled by Sean O'Donnell, and she's fouled there now. We're about 25 yards out. Is this Petey Hughes's range? He doesn't fancy it, so it's going to be in towards Evan. Evan Devan Paris there. Oh, sorry, Evan Paris Devan gets the ball. 25 yards out looks up towards the goals it's going to take a real bit of something special now to win this ball but it goes high towards Petey and Kelly breaks down now blocked down again Jody O'Donnell's going to go down for it she breaks the first tackle and leaves it off there now it's going to be John Carlson getting on the end of this but Sophie McLaughlin I think is oh no Sophie's been taken off and we're going to go back for a free for St Barnabas Grace Gleason's going to take this kick. And tight, being, everyone's very tightly marked. There's nothing between these teams with 10 minutes to go. There's John Carlson, looks up. He's tackled by 
Standard player and he wins the ball in towards Brendan McCormick but it breaks down now and it's a foot race between Orla Murray and Gianna. Gianna gets the shoulder and the foot in now with Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell breaks Evan, Devin O'Sullivan's tackle. He gets the ball and a huge big ball towards Orla Murray. Orla Murray breaks down here now between Meadow and Ella and Gianna. They're going to have their work cut out and it is a 50 ball off Satanta and it's going to go back for a 50 yard free here. Is there anything can separate these two teams? It's been very, very close in the second half. It's going to take a special bit of magic now uh, today to separate these two teams. Liam McNally's got something to say about it. He's got on the ball. He looks up. Fenton Cullen's open. Brendan McCormick's open, but I think he wants to get it in now to the square. In towards Orla Murray, she's the danger woman, and a big high ball towards Sean O'Donnell. Breaks down towards Fenton Cullen, but Sean O'Donnell wins the ball, and it's a... Bush in the back. I think it's the St. Barnabas free. Yep. St. Barnabas free. That's a big, big opportunity now for St. Barnabas. 15 yards out. It's going to be Dara Lynch. Dara Lynch is going to get on this ball. He looks up. Eight Satanta players on the line. And it's a wide ball. 11 wides now for, for St. Barnabas. They're going to really regret not bringing their shooting boots with them today if they don't bring home the U10 Championship. Gianna, big, big kick. Down towards Jack Mitchell. Jack Mitchell wins the ball. He looks up, gives it to Daryl Lynch. Daryl Lynch, big shoulder, but he rides that tackle and beats the ball down towards Sean O'Donnell. Sean O'Donnell takes a shot, but it goes just... Oh, Aileen Bergson was very, very confident that ball was going wide. I'm not sure many people shared that optimism, but she was reassured and calm all the way there. Over towards Gianna. Gianna's going to take this kick. She needs a big kick. Daniel Horowitz is open, but I'm not sure that's the option she wants to go with. And a huge, huge kick towards the middle of the field. It's gone too far. Jack Mitchell wins the ball, but it breaks down on the ground. Leaves it off towards Liam McNally, but Satanta dive on that ball. And it is going to be Ella. Ella wins the ball. She plays it down towards... It's Liam... Uh, Shea McMahon comes away with that ball. Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball. One hop. One big kick towards Orla Murray, but it's going to break... Oh, what, an, what a catch there, well done towards Gianna Gianna gets that ball gives it to Finja Finja clears it down the line towards Petey Hughes but it bounces over everybody's head now to Shane McMahon's win it but it breaks down again there's Jody O'Donnell and Kayleigh Dolan Kayleigh Dolan gets on it Petey Hughes is going to get on that ball there now bounces once looks in oh it's going to be John Carlson John looks up takes a hop takes a kick but it hasn't gone too far now Connor uh, Liam McNally's going to win that ball in towards Meadow. Meadow's got a big intercept here now. Well done to Meadow. She looks up and there's Devon O'Sullivan. Devon O'Sullivan hops. Looks towards uh, Evan. Evan Paris Devan gets on the ball there now. Takes a hop and plays the ball in towards Keely Dolan. Keely Dolan getting tackled by Jody O'Donnell. Shea McMahon wins that ball. Brilliant tackle by Keely, but Danny McKenna says that's a foul. And it's going to be a St. Barnabas ball. Jody O'Donnell's going to get on this. Two points each with just seven and a half minutes to go. There is Dean Sampson and Sean O'Donnell gets on the ball there's Ray McPhelum Ray McPhelum gets on it and it's going towards Orla Murray but uh, Emmett Smith's going to get on this ball he gets past Daniel Horowitz he needs to take this shot and it is gone wide wide number 12 for St Barnabas I'm not sure what they did in training this week but it probably wasn't shooting so we're going to have to really dig deep here now if we're going to take a score Gianna gets Gianna's going to have an opportunity to clear her lines Gianna takes a big kick towards the halfway line. Finya Deagle. Uh, yep. Whoa. That's a big, big call there now. Liam McNally gets on the ball. And a big kick from Liam McNally towards Orla Murray. But Gianna and Ella and Meadow working together. What a back line Satanta have. And it's going to be Evan. Evan, well done. That's the... That is Evan Paris Devan gets on the ball. Dean Sampson's in support, but he doesn't need him. He's going to give it towards Petey Hughes. Petey Hughes wins the ball. What a catch for a small man. Wins it over his head. Takes a hop. Takes a solo. They're going to need all the support in here. That's a foul. Oh, foul by Shane McMahon on Petey Hughes. Petey Hughes just outside of his shooting range. So he's going to give it off to Evan Paris Devan. So Evan, they're going to have to play this in. They're about 35 yards out. Too far out for a shot that was going to have to play the ball in. They're looking in for Dean, but oh, what a catch by Connor Brogan. Oh, and he throws it. Oh, he did everything right and then just threw it in the end. He's going to be very disappointed with that one, but it gives Satanta a key chance. Still, they're 22 yards out. I have a feeling it's too far out, but you wouldn't know with these players. They're outstanding. 
Evan Paris Devan. What a chance with five and a half minutes to go. It's gone short, and Liam McNally's going to get on this ball. He clears the ball 25 yards out, but Stanta have got the chance to win it. Yes, Finya Deagle breaks the tackle, takes a hop, looks up. Oh, who's it going towards? Petey Hughes? No, that is going towards. Yeah, I'll have to check back in. That is a free in for Satanta. Connor Healy wins that free. Evan Paris Devan gets on the ball. He looks up. A lot of options inside, but he's going to have to give it to an open one. And St. Barnabas are giving no space to anybody. Here's Liam McNally again. Wins that ball. Clears the ball towards Finya, but Finya's going to win it. She's got a shot here now. She takes it. That's well blocked down, but she could has got a second chance at it. St. Tanta under a lot of pressure. What a shoulder. Oh, and a pick off the ground. Shay McMahon's going to take it. No, Liam McNally's going to take it. And Finya is going to intercept this one. Another critical intercept by Finya Deagle. Wins the ball. Oh, Adam Smith and Finya tussle for it, but Adam Smith comes out with the ball. Kicks it down towards Orla Murray. It's a foot race between Daniel and Orla, and Daniel just peeks out in front. Ella's going to have to do work hard to get on this ball, and it is gone for a St. Barnabas sideline ball, I believe. Pretty sure that came off Satanta. Yep. So it's a... Yep. Yep, St. Barnabas ball over here. Four and a half minutes left. Two points each. There's nothing between these two teams. Who's going to take it? That man, Liam McNally. When the pressure's on, that's who they go to every single time. He's taken freeze all over the field. He's been one of the players of the game so far, in my opinion. No, Danny McKenna has got something to say about this. No, he says it came off Barnabas last and it's going to be a Satanta free. Well, we'll have to see about that. That's a big momentum change. And here comes Satanta. Gianna comes away with it. Oh, Dara Lynch gets tackled. But Finya Deagle, there you go, off the ground. Oh, that is disappointing from a Satanta perspective. And it's that man, Liam McNally. He's going to get a second bite at the cherry to get the ball in. 3.35 on the clock. Two points each. There's nothing between these teams. It's going to be the next score wins, you feel like. And Gianna wins it just over Orla Murray's head, but it's not free. There's Emmett Smith gets a chance. Oh, oh, that's a big, big call. St. Barnabas are going to get an opportunity here now with three minutes and change left on the clock. Who's going to take it? Oh, this is a pressure kick. Finton Cullen steps up. Left foot a kick for a left foot a kicker. Oh, sorry, Brendan McCormick. My mistake. Apologies, Finton and Brendan. Here we go. Brendan McCormick. Wide ball. Oh, no. I don't think they want to score. 13, free, 13 wides for St. Barnabas. I'd say it's four or five free wides for Satanta. And St. Barnabas are only going to have themselves to blame. Have to leave this. That's a shoulder to the chest, I believe. Jack Mitchell's going to try and win that ball. He's going to get a second bite of it, but Shane McMahon's going to win it. Oh, he's in trouble. And the ball goes back. Jack Mitchell. No. That is Jack Mitchell under pressure. Clears the ball off the left foot. And it's going to go down towards Finton Cullen. But Daniel Horowitz. Brendan McCormick wins this ball. Takes a hop. Oh, Danny McKenna calls. Danny McKenna calls for over carrying. Two minutes left. This is going extra time. You just get a feeling. Gianna, huge kick towards Petey Hughes, but it's Liam McNally again. He clears the ball towards Orla Murray. Orla's going to win this. She's 30 yards out. She looks up in the direction of that man Dara Lynch Dara Lynch oh not sure that's a free he plays on oh <laughs> Tim Barnum is going to get another crack at it Dara Lynch is this going to be a score it is wide again oh my god what is going on here <laughs> yeah it's Disappointing for St. Barnabas. They haven't scored this half, but they've had plenty of chances. Satanta, they've got one minute on the clock. You feel this is the last play. They get it in to Liam McNally. Intercepts. He's fouled. That's a big, big free for Liam McNally. He's been my player of the game anyway so far. Liam's got it. He's got 50 seconds. 
The next score is the game. Finya Deagle. Oh, here we go. Sean O'Donnell's got on it. He's tackled. Finya Deagle, what an intercept. She's tackled and wins the advantage. And it's going to be Sitanta could have the last say on the clock. 35 seconds left. Here we go. And it's that man, Petey Hughes, but Ray McPhailum. Here we go. Petey Hughes gets on the ball. He takes a hop. He takes a solo. He spins out of the tackle and he plays it towards Satanta. Shea McMahon, what an intercept. Connor Healy's going to tackle him, but it's Liam McNally on the ball. He looks up. He's got to play it in towards Dean Sampson. Oh, Darrell Lynch is going to get on this ball, but here goes Meadow. Meadow wins that ball off the ground. She can't, she's fouled. Not sure where Danny McKenna has got that decision from. Darrell Lynch has got the shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dramatic scenes as the buzzer goes. Oh, what a score by Dara Lynch. A buzzer beater at the final kick of the game. And St Barnabas are over the moon and Satanta's hearts are broken. That's a very, very hard way to lose a final. It's, um... <laughs> wow, what a game. Credit to both teams. Devastation for Satanta. They left it all out in the field. 10 seconds left on the clock they had the ball but they just didn't they just couldn't find the momentum to, to win that game devastated but what a way for St Barnabas they've been the they've been the standout team of today I'm guessing 14 frees oh sorry 14 wides but oh they'll be they won't care they're winning the trophy and they're going to go back they're the back to back U10 champions uh, for uh, for 2020, 2019, and maybe even before. I don't have my re records in front of me, but Satanta, devastation. That's the second year in a row they've lost the U10 final, and you have to hand it to them. They gave their absolute all out there, but they just didn't have it on the day just to get over the line. The one, the one score, one score each in the second half, but that score was critical for St. Barnabas, and they come away with it the last second of the game. Fair play to St. Barnabas, hard luck to Satanta. And a great job to everybody out there. Well done, da Danny McKenna, officials and everybody. And thank you, everybody. What a, what a great game here in Gaelic Park.